Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Artifacts, a mod inspired by Terraria by Oko Tanida. And today I'm going to be thanking Gentleman Gnu for your patronage. Thank you ever so much for your support. Oh dear. So as you may have noticed, there, there are something going on with this mod. There are... <laughs> One, a whole lot of items uh, in my inventory. First, let's dispatch this Mimic, which obviously is a fake chest, and we'll just get rid of it quickly. It's got a lot of health, and it may drop a random item. That's kind of half the mod right there, but not entirely. Don't, don't uh, simplify it to something so small. So as you can see, I have uh, my Baubles inventory slots completely packed full, more or less. Let's get all this stuff off of my hotbar and get back to the basic self that is me. There are a few categories of items that you can get in this mod. If you look over on the side here, uh, basically you'll have your three different types of items, in my mind at least. You'll get those that you can find in loot uh, chests and stuff like that, or get dropped from a mimic. You'll find those that uh, you will get which are everlasting food items, uh, which you can get from passive mobs on a very, very low chance. And then there are those items that you can craft. Now, I'm going to be telling, taking you through uh, each of these, of course, bit by bit. Now, let's get into this. I've got a little bit here. I just got a shiny red balloon. And any of these items, if you want to know what they do, all you need to do is hover over them. It says press shift for more information, allows the wearer to jump higher. And that's basically what it does i mean it's pretty straightforward stuff i've got one here they will go into your bobble slots some of them will overlap others and will not work together but in this case i've got a shiny red balloon which allows me to jump basically two and a half blocks tall instead of the standard one block tall which is just all around nice got your obsidian skull which uh when you wear that put that on there uh, actually i think yeah, there we go. I, I think I was in uh, creative mode. There we go. If I have a fire and I walk into it, it will give me some fire resistance for a short time. But then after that is expired, you'll notice that the obsidian skull itself, even in my baubles inventory, has this white meter kind of covering over it. Once that refreshes, then you will be fire. Uh, you'll be able to activate this again. But once your fire resistance runs out. Yeah, you're still going to take damage like you normally would. Not to worry, though, there are plenty of other items that you can potentially get. Of course, you'll find mimics throughout the world uh, in this case. I, I guess I kind of overlooked that, but you'll find them more or less in caves. And I should mention that you might also find them uh, down in the oceans. Now, these are highly configurable at this point. We've got a uh, chest down here. You might find different loot and uh, magical books or whatnot. That each one might have different themes and so on. This one just happens to have a snorkel, which allows the wearer to breathe underwater. When you equip that, basically your air bubbles will stop moving, which is kind of nice. But um, it, it's just one of the areas you can find them is in deep oceans, very rarely, as well as uh, down in tunnels, which you just might find a regular loot chest as well as you might find a mimic. You can change these, of course, in the configs, how frequently they will show up and therefore uh, allowing you to kind of modify it to your mod pack experience that you want because some of these are really powerful. As I just showed you the snorkel, we're going to move on to the next one. You've got uh, three different uh, minor pendants. This one has a, a chance to strike attackers with lightning when you, uh, when basically when you're attacked. Then you've got your flame one, which will set them on fire, and your thorn pendant, which will just give them a thorn effect. Uh, you can also combine those together, but we'll get into the crafting stuff in a minute here. For now, the panic necklace is actually rel relatively entertaining, and I like it a lot. It increases your movement speed after taking damage, and it basically gives you speed two for, I believe, a few moments here. Let's. I've got some spiders on my hot bar, and if I put this on, and then I poke this guy, hi. I then have speed two for probably about five or six seconds, which is enough to get away from whatever the uh, the foe is in most cases that is giving you trouble. But there is more to go from there. Uh, if we continue on, we have the lucky horseshoe, which negates all fall damage from any height when worn. So let's grab that. It's not in not in my um, my bubble slots right now. In fact, let's get rid of some of this stuff. If I climb up here, 
And I jump down. I think I take like a heart and a half of damage. Ugh. Yep, heart and a half of damage. So if I equip the uh, lucky horseshoe, put that on my hot bar. There we go. Put it in my bobbles slot, rather. Jump down. No damage taken whatsoever. It's just really nice. I mean, some of these ones are relatively just entertainment value, but other ones are very useful. Like a cobalt shield prevents knockback from all attacks when worn, which I feel I should mention how that works because it can be confusing. If I have a spider attacking me, actually, let me, um, let me have a little nom of some food. If I have a spider attacking me, um, it's still going to push me. Let me put on some armor so I can last a little longer here. Let's put down a spider, poke it. It will still push me as an entity would, you know, like if I'm shoving it, it can shove me. But you notice I'm not being pushed by its attacks. That's pretty much what it's going to allow you to do. So you still can be pushed by entities, but you will not be knocked back by the damage that they cause, which is just nice all around. Then we come to something here called a cloud in a bottle, which I, I think you guys have probably recognized most, if not all of these, from Terraria, which is absolutely fantastic. I, I, I love this mod quite a lot, actually. It's a lot of fun. It allows the wearer to double jump. So let's put this on my bobble slot, and then I can... Let's, just, let's go over here, and then you can see I can double jump, which would allow me to get up two block heights. It's not as good as the uh, the the balloon, but if you combine the two, because the balloon allows you to do a one or two and a half block jump, if you remember. There's the balloon right there. So if I combine that with the double jump, I can do five blocks, basically, uh, or four and a half, really, uh, to be honest. It, it doesn't go like completely double. It does quite well, though, allowing you to get up to very high heights as you would. And of course, I took um, reduced fall damage because of the balloon as well, which is just kind of nice. Now next to that, we've got probably the most overpowered item in all of this mod, and that is the whoopee cushion. Uh, basically, here, um, I, will, I will show you guys what this does. You equip it, and it allows you to fart. <laughs> <laughs> more frequently that's pretty much all it does <laughs> there's no crafting recipes for these things they're all drops i imagine you could probably install a mod that would <laughs> that would allow you to uh add crafting recipes for these but uh by default these don't have them then you've got things like feral claws which increases your attack speed and your power glove which increases the melee attack damage so if i were to put these on there we go and you notice these go in like a little charm slot they can in, be used together so one goes on one hand one goes on the other so you can see i now have a green claw and i have the uh, yellow glove or the golden glove so therefore if i were to swing let's aim at the sun here you can see how fast my swing speed is with the sword if i take this then off you can see how slow it normally is to recharge so it will definitely help increase things and of course the other one just more or less gives you damage bonus your magma stone causes the the melee attacks to inflict fire damage. So even if I have a spider here and I've got the uh, magma sp stone equipped, which, yes, it shows up as a little fist icon. When I punch this guy, it sets him on fire. That's pretty much it. And, of course, it'll work with any of your melee attacks that you use. In this case, I use the sword as well. All right, then we've got probably another really tremendous item here, the drinking hat. It decreases the time it takes to drink drinkables. Uh, drinkable items when worn which this it's it well here let me get a little bit of water i'm just gonna get some water bottles you can use this with any of the drinkable potions but it's just really good to demonstrate a little bit here you notice that i have a diamond helmet let's take that off you guys can see what this looks like on my head yes it's a, a bit silly it looks like i've got a couple of cans of soda strapped to my head like i'm going to some kind of a football game or something like that but if i put on my diamond helmet it just overlaps the texture, which is pretty cool. So, and it works with most most helmets quite well, uh, in fact. And therefore, if I wanted to, I could drink my water bottle. That's it. That's how fast it is. It's not sip, 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 sip. No, it's just sip, sip, and it's done. Very nice item, actually. I like that one quite a lot. Very useful. Now, before we get to the Star Cloak, we're going to come back to the Star Cloak because that one is just really, really strong in my mind. But the night vision goggles grants the wearer night vision, and it looks fabulous. And the pocket piston. 
Can't overlook the pocket piston either. This one here increases your knockback from all attacks when worn, which of course is worn on the fist again. But if you look, I now have like this little piston. Uh, let's get rid of this bottle. I have a piston on my hand as a glove instead, which I think is extremely appropriate. Uh, but with this, I can also put the night vision goggles on. There we are. Very lovely look. They look great. I mean, <laughs> I look actually really creepy and disturbing. Uh, but let's put this down and knock about a spider with my melee attacks. See, I've got a really good knockback effect with this now. I mean, it's not like knockback 10, but it is really good. It's really good. I like it quite a bit. There we go. Let's finish him off. And of course, you can tell that I'm wearing uh, the night vision goggles because I can see through the water very easily. I had that night vision effect on earlier at the beginning of the video when I was wearing that and it, it, it kind of got stuck on because I keep on switching back and forth between creative and non-creative mode. Now the star cloak. This is a bit uh, gaudy looking. Uh, those that are familiar with Batania might notice that this is relatively similar to some of the cloaks in that mod, but it also acts like, of course, the Terraria items. Now if I grab a spider here and I start punching this guy, let's just empty my hands out. There's a chance that, oh wait, did I equip it? Yes, I did. Okay, oh, I looked away. Let, let's back up a little bit and you might be able to see that we've got some different stars coming in from above that are just shooting down and destroying the, this guy. We eat a little bit of food and we'll drop down the spider, poke him again. You guys might be able to see the different star effects coming down and doing a little bit of damage on him. Which, yes, they might attack enemies in an area. It's just really cool that that would affect that. It, it, it can be very strong. I don't know if it works like in very small areas or not, uh, like underground or whatnot, but I'd imagine it probably could. Or, or at the very least, it's just really, really fun to play with, as most things are in this mod. So let's put that away. And these are all just items you can get from loot chests, from mimics, as you saw before, which are very dangerous. Uh, in fact, they come at you relentlessly and will chomp the heck out of you. So you're going to want to make sure to take them out quickly. They have a lot of health as well, but then they drop at least one loot item. And even if you have looting, it still will only drop one loot item. So therefore, that is something to take note of. Let's get into the craftables. If you craft those three minor pendants together, you get the Pendant of Ultimate Wrath, which when worn has a chance to do all three of these effects, which is a lightning strike, fire, and uh, just thorns effect, which if I put this on, uh, let's see here. Actually, I think it's just when I'm attacked. So if I bring a spider here and he starts attacking me, he has a chance of, yep, being set on fire, being lightning struck, or just getting a thorn effect. There we go. Uh, damage on all the above, which that's just really, really strong. But of course, you'd have to get all three of these together in order to make that one. So let's get that off there. And of course, if you take the cloud in a bottle, combine it with a whoopee cushion, you're going to get a fart in a jar. And this is just putting it in any kind of crafting grid. They're shapeless recipes. But you get a fart in a jar, which you guessed it. You are now going to fart when you double jump. Put that on my belt. And yes, these things do render on you. I, I absolutely love that, they, that it does that. But there we go. Nice little double jump fart there. Just lovely. You got you got to love the fun in some of these mods, especially when they're inspired by Terraria. Now, if you take the Feral Claws and the Power Glove, combine them together, you get the Mechanical Glove. Which if you remember, the Feral Claws will increase your, your attack speed. And the Power Glove will increase the melee damage. This does both attack, damage, and speed. So it'd be great to have two of those, wouldn't it? And then, of course, you can take that further and add it to a Magma Stone. And then it causes your attacks to also do fire damage, uh, hit harder, and go faster, making the Fire Gauntlet. So it's just an absolute beast of, a, of an option to add on there. You can wear up to two of those, of course, because they go into these slots. And they're just really, 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 really crazy there with, with how strong those are. Now let's get into the extremely rare mm, and tasty foods that are available. Now these everlasting uh, foods are extremely rare drops from the appropriate animal. Everlasting raw pork chop can come from a pig. Beef from a cow, chicken, rabbit, 
mutton from a, a sheep and so on. And of course, your fish from fishing, including the everlasting clownfish. Now, any of these ones up here, you can cook them and get the cooked version. So, uh, for instance, if I look in JEI, you just cook it and you'll get the everlasting cooked version, which is that much better uh, with how saturating it is. It's just like eating the regular product. Now, you can take those, some of those a little further, but the ones that don't do anything is the everlasting clownfish cannot be cooked. The everlasting rotten flesh, that's right, you can constantly always eat rotten flesh, will give you that chance of getting hunger if you so desire. <laughs> and the everlasting spider eye. <laughs> yes, you can poison yourself anytime that you want now, everlastingly. And then we've got the everlasting cooked rabbit. If you take that, you can combine it with a regular carrot, regular potato, regular mushroom, uh, or the spotty one. And of all, get everlasting rabbit stew, just like this. And that's what I've been eating. And that is, and it does not like yield some kind of empty bowl or anything like that. No, it just gives you wonderful saturation in food supplies. It, it's just really good. And it, there you go. It may be a rather powerful and uh, at times strange mod, but I find it quite entertaining and a lot of fun. If you guys have been enjoying this, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all on Twitch, 10 p.m. UK time most nights. Check us out there. We'll see you then.